Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the next Let's Create Blender 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be modeling an archery tower. This tutorial series assumes that you know the basics of Blender modeling. This tutorial is using Blender 2.8. The link for downloading this version is in the description below. Let's start by making the legs. In the Render tab, change your Render Engine to Cycles. Under the Modeling Workspace, change to Orthographic View. Then scale the cube, which will be our leg, to the desired size. Add two horizontal loop cuts to the leg and move them down. You want the bottom one just above the bottom face. And the second one you can move down a little bit further. So you have roughly one blender unit between the two of them. Select the faces between the loop cuts and between the bottom loop cut and the bottom face and then extrude them along the X and Y axes. Then make sure you have just the faces between the bottom loop cut and the bottom face selected and scale them along the X and Y axes. Select your entire leg, and we want to make three duplicates, and then place them so they are in a square pattern. Now we're going to work on the cross beams. Add another cube that's going to be our cross beam and scale it so it fits between the lower parts of the legs, not the extruded part, but the parts above the extrusion. And after you have it aligned, make three duplicates and place them between the other legs. Then after you have all four of these cross beams made, select all of them, duplicate them, and then move them up towards the top of the legs. Duplicate one of the cross beams and then rotate it around the Y axis 45 degrees and place it between the two cross beams.
Once you have it in place, duplicate it, rotate it around the y-axis, make sure you get it in place. Select both of these new beams, duplicate them. We need to place them between the cross beams on the other three sides. Now we're going to make the platform, add a cube, and then scale it to the desired size. Then place the platform on top of the legs. Select just the very top face and inset it. Then select the outer faces on the very top. And extrude them up along the z-axis. Now let's make a ladder, add a cube that's going to act as our rail, and then scale it to the desired size. Duplicate the rail and then move it to the side. Duplicate one of these rails and rotate it 90 degrees. This is going to be our first rung. So we need to scale it so it fits between the two rails. Then place the rung near the bottom of the rails. And then separate from the rest of the mesh. Tab into object mode. And select just the rung. And add an array modifier. We're going to want the relative offset to be along the z-axis. And increase your count to fill up the number of rungs that you need. Then apply the modifier. And make sure you have all your rungs selected. Select the rest of the mesh and join them together. Tab back into edit mode. Select your ladder. and then align it to the tower. Now under the UV editing workspace, 
Make sure you're in edit mode. Select your entire mesh. And even though it's already unwrapped, we're going to unwrap it again and just use a smart UV project. Then under the UV menu, go to export UV layout and export your UV. Now in object mode, go to your materials tab and just delete the default material. Under the shading workspace, tab back into edit mode and open up the exported UV. In the materials tab, add a material that we're just going to call wood and assign it a base color. I'm using the hex code of 864224. Change your roughness to 1, specular to 0.2, and sheen tint to 0.2. And then add a second material, and we'll call this stone. Give it a base color. I'm using the hex code 534F52. You can change the roughness to 1, specular to 0.2, and sheen tint to 0.2. And then assign this material to the bottom extruded parts of the faces. Now we're going to bake out the textures. In the node editor, add an image texture and open up your UV and copy this node and make sure that you have it on both of your material layers. Under your render tab, twirl open the bake section. We'll just leave the bake type as combined and click on bake. Once your UVs are baked, don't forget to save them. Just open up the hamburger menu Go to Image, and then Save As, and save out your baked UVs. And there you have a very quick, simple archery tower. I hope you found this useful. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations or any creations that you make in Blender. The link is in the description below. Have a good day.